Now, you've no idea what this stuff she took was. Look, she just wanted to have a good time. Are you sure you don't know? It's important. Pills. I mean, I don't know what they were. How many did she take? Don't know. Where did she get them from? The party. Well, I, I don't know. You can go now. But we're her friends. Here, Frank, seen these? Mm, what now? Single vitamins from Sanatogen. Ooh. Single? What, only one in every pack? No, what a <laughs> No, Frank. I mean, vitamin B, C and all that C. Sanatogen's new range of single vitamins. Frank? 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 I wish I was single. Who did it, Emmy? None of them ring a bell, lady. I'm afraid they all look rather similar to me, officer. It's better than useless, Sarge. Oh! Wait a minute. That's the one! Little flat fellow. This one. Well, as the lovely old trout has shown us, one never forgets one's first dime. The fly made you very afraid. His son will make you very, very afraid. The fly, too, like father, like son. And how to get ahead in advertising, where two heads are better than one. Hiya, handsome. Rent them soon. Very, very soon. Get set! Killian, I'll be back. George, get out of it! For video, watch Woolworths. reflects all the colors of summer. Could the sheep be a distant relative of the chameleon? Love from Walmart. Hello, my name is Jock. Hello, Jock. Welcome to Talk About. Join the party now. Phone Talk About on 0898 300 500. It's the authentic Pilsner taste that makes Tenant's Pilsner good. But not that good. Xong mà tôi thẳng về nhà thì đến thang máy thì gặp hai người. Một người Anh Quốc và một người Việt Nam đi. À, xong khi đó họ chờ sẵn tôi đó họ đã một người người anh quốc họ đã dùng súng họ đánh lên đầu tôi hai phát đó của tôi tóe ra và người việt nam họ đã dùng tiếng việt họ nói với tôi là vậy thì nếu như kêu là họ bắn chết ngay và sẵn họ về nhà thì tôi phải làm theo ý của họ người anh lê cầm súng chí vào thái dương tôi còn người việt nam đưa con dao vào cổ tôi thì bắt tôi đi vào trong này sau khi đó họ đã lấy hết đi đồ đạc trong nhà tôi và họ đã lấy thêm một chiếc chìa khóa và một chiếc xe của tôi họ chạy mất one man was mid-twenties, medium height, with short blonde hair. The other was Vietnamese, shorter, with a stud in one ear. Who are they? Call Crime Stoppers on 0800 treble 5 treble 1. You don't have to give your name and you could earn a cash reward. If you have information about any crime, call Crime Stoppers now. Why not join me for 6 o'clock live on Friday when our star guest is Tom Conti and we'll be getting ready for Telethon 90, 6 o'clock live. The only way to start your weekend.
Early returns in the Soviet elections show pro-reform candidates doing well. With up to 150 million votes to be counted, the full results won't emerge until midweek. The regional and local polls are in the Soviet Union's three largest republics, Russia, Bielorussia and the Ukraine. In Moscow and Leningrad, reformers said their candidates had performed well. The radical, Boris Yeltsin, is also said to be ahead by a wide margin. Earlier, President Gorbachev said the poll was a referendum on his reform program. He warned that the country could descend into chaos worse than that of the Cultural Revolution in China if he didn't receive support. The Prime Minister says she has accepted the decision of the Welsh Secretary Peter Walker to leave the Cabinet soon with deep regret. Mrs Thatcher returned to Downing Street after a weekend of protests at the poll tax and then Mr Walker's announcement to step down. But he said he would still be able to disagree with the Prime Minister. Space Association is long enough, but if there's an issue in which uh, I felt that she was doing something which uh, I, yeah, there was another idea, I could always actually ring her up and say, yeah, Margaret, you know, you're old chubby, <laughs> and I would. In the Philippines, forces loyal to President Cory Aquino are hunting for the leader of a failed armed rebellion. The fighting centred on the city of Tugay Garu, 250 miles north of Manila. At least 14 people were killed in the uprising. The leader of the rebellion, Governor Rodolfo Aguinaldo, escaped in an ambulance. 200 of his supporters were taken prisoner. The rebel troops had taken hostages, including a general who was later murdered. The fighting's now over. We are uh, in full control of uh, the situation. We are operating normally. The fourth rail bridge has been celebrating its 100th birthday. 17 million rivets hold it together. And the same red oxide paint is still made to the Victorian recipe to ward off the rust. Steam trains ran special parties of enthusiasts across for the occasion. And as light fell over the grand old lady of the fourth, fireworks were set off and bonfires lit to usher in a year of celebrations. That's it from ITN. We're back later in the night. The newspaper delivered in time on a tradition. But imagine a newspaper that's updated 15,000 times a day. Covers topics like dandy gardening tips, holiday information, and the latest weather report. The ultimate newspaper, brought to you by Oracle. Welcome to Pick of the Week. I'm David Vickery and over the next half hour I'll be bringing you a selection of edited highlights from regional television. If you were watching the programme last week you'll know that those of us concerned with this humble production pride ourselves on attracting viewers of good taste and indeed refinement. And with that in mind we've lined up a show designed to appeal to the most discerning of taste buds. So don't go away because later on we'll be finding out why red tape made mincemeat out of a seasonal favourite. We'll also be finding out why traditional canine cuisine is off the menu for these pooches, plus the new arrival, who's the apple of her mother's eye. And as always, there's our great video giveaway. This week, a couple of jazz classics from the 1940s. All that's coming up then, but let's start tonight with a subject likely to be close to the heart of anyone with a keen interest in motor cars. It's not so very long ago that we featured a rare Aston Martin sold at auction for a staggering £1.4 million. Well, not many of us can afford that kind of money for a runaround. However, you might be able to stretch to a model that's long been the butt of comedians' jokes, but now looks like coming into its own, as Chris Eakin of Central Television discovered. If it wasn't for the reliant three-wheelers, comedians like Jasper Carrot would run dry of jokes. But as he talked of Reliance only just managing to slipstream a milk float, sales were slumping. Now it seems Reliant is to have the last laugh. Demand for the three-wheelers is up 50%. There's now a 12-week waiting list. We still have our uh, regular customers, customers who've been with us, and their fathers and mothers were with us, and grandfathers and grandmothers. But a lot of new people, I notice 
uh, it is beginning to be of interest to young people starting up in business on their own, for example. Such is the newfound popularity of the car that it's now a prize in a national newspaper. And the second prize, two Reliant Robins. It's jokes like that which once annoyed the workers, but not anymore. I don't find them embarrassing when you can, when you can get 70 to the gallon and 40 pound road tax. I think that's pretty good, don't you? What's its top speed? Well, we, we think somewhere between 80 and 90. If, if you get a good towel, you can get about 95. Reliant is struggling to keep up with the surge in orders. It's taken quite a shake-up to increase output by 20% from 25 three-wheelers a week to a grand total of 30. One of the problems is there's no test road, so the one test driver, Nigel, has to run each car out onto the A5 and round the block. About 50 miles an hour running. 